What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Michael here with you once again and today we're unpacking loads of information about the Discraft Zeus. But before we get into that, if you love all things disc golf entertainment, I'm talking challenge videos, educational videos, trick shots, all sorts of content that's heading your way on a weekly basis, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of that fun that's coming to you on a weekly basis. So let's unpack some info about the Zeus. The Zeus is a max distance driver with flight numbers of 12, 5, negative 1, 3. This disc can handle loads of torque and give you lots of distance. With a speed of 12, it does require a good deal of speed in order to get the disc to fly its intended flight path. The glide of 5 will ensure that the disc stays in the air long enough to ensure that you get the distance that you're looking for. The turn of negative one allows the Zeus to hold a straight line, but the fade of three ensures that it's gonna give you a stable finish at the end, so it allows you to throw easily into the wind, gives you loads of torque resistance, so it allows for easy forehands as well as backhands. These flight numbers have been pursued by every disc golf manufacturer and is closely associated with some of Discraft's other drivers, like the Force and the Nuke. How does the Zeus differ from these discs and should it earn a spot in your bag? In comparison with the Nuke, the Zeus seems to have less mid-flight turn than the Nuke. It provides a straight line and then begins to stable out at the end of its flight. On the other hand, the Nuke provides more of an S-curve in its flight. The Zeus and the Force are a bit closer in comparison. A beat-in force and a new Zeus have a very similar flight pattern. However, it's very convenient to have a disc that's distance ready right out of the box. You can count on the straight line distance with dependable fade without having to spend time beating a disc into an acceptable stability and then nearly having a panic attack every time you throw a shot over water. Ground play is always tricky with a wide rim driver, but the Zeus's control in its mid-flight helps with the movement on the ground. You have the ability to throw spike hyzers, skip shots, and anhyzers that can minimize skip. The Zeus is primarily found in ESP plastic, but can be found in special runs in different plastics, so be on the lookout for those. Overall, I believe that the Zeus is primarily designed for advanced players and above. The speed of 12 really requires a fair amount of power for you to get the disc to fly its intended path. If you're a beginner looking for a max distance driver, I would suggest finding something a little slower and a, with a little less fade. For advanced and pro players, you can expect max distance with straight mid-flight and dependable fade. If you're looking for a controllable max distance driver straight out of the box, pick yourself up a Zeus.